I met Ron Israel back in January of 1998, where I was the head strength coach at the University of Notre Dame, and Ron was a player. Ron played defensive back there. Uh, he was one of the hardest working guys on the team that, that I trained. Uh, he was there from 1998 until 2001, where he went on to the NFL. Uh, Ron would often come back to the university and train in our uh, facility, and uh, we got to become pretty close throughout that time. Uh, recently, in the last two years, uh, Ron has been working on my staff here at the University of Florida as a strength and conditioning assistant. Uh, Ron is a tireless worker, uh, great person, great citizen, uh, very accountable and dependable and uh, responsible worker. Uh, love his insight, uh, learn, knows how to work with the athletes and uh, different, uh, their different uh, personalities and uh, often, as always, gets the job done, as, as, uh, which is our main goal. Uh, Ron will be successful in whatever endeavor he is uh, pursuing. Uh, number one, because he's a really, really good person. Number two, because he's a hard worker and he cares. Got great character, and uh, he'll be successful in anything that he does. I first met Ron in 1996 in Haddon Heights, New Jersey, and uh, met his family, and uh, he was obviously a great high school football player. Uh, but I was even more impressed with the quality of guy he was. You know, you went into a school and you realized uh, he was a leader. Everybody had great respect for him. Whatever I recruit guys, I try to get to know the secretaries, the principal, the assistant principal, the athletic director, and I want to find out, you know, for more than just the football coach, what kind of young man we're dealing with, especially a school like Notre Dame where um, you won't survive unless you're a high-character guy. So. I uh, did as much homework as I possibly can, but became very good friends with his mother, Pat. And Steve, who was playing, I believe, for the Patriots or is in the NFL at the time, I would talk to him about once a week, once every other week, to find out uh, what's happening and, and uh, typical recruiting concerns about where he's going to end up. Uh, we developed a great relationship, not a good one, and uh, he selected Notre Dame. Once he came to Notre Dame, our relationship only got stronger because, again, what kind of person he was, what kind of worker. His career started slow, but then really finished strong. And, and uh, I moved on to be the head coach of Bowling Green, but uh, I was there for uh, quite a bit of uh, Ron's career. Uh, once I moved on to be head coach, uh, Ron went on about his career, and we had the opportunity to hire him here at Florida as a strength uh, assistant in our, in our strength conditioning room. And Mickey Marotti is my head guy, and he came to me and said, do you remember Izzo? And I said, absolutely do. And, you know, all I knew, I had no idea what he'd really been doing since, but I just knew what kind of person he was, what kind of family he's from, his work ethic, his spiritual background. And I knew they were all graded out uh, as an A. And so I couldn't wait to get him here. And ever since he's been here, he's been a great to be around. I've given him several projects as far as dealing with some players that, you know, here in Florida we've had uh, some players that have needed a lot of, a mentorship and he's, he's been fantastic so obviously we wish Ron the best he's gonna have a great future whatever he selects to do and he always has a great fan a great friend and uh, someone will strongly recommend him anytime in Urban Meyer thank you